Well, looking for an excuse to chill this weekend? This may be as good as any. New research shows stress can actually make your brain smaller. <laughs> Greg Argos is here now to explain why and what you can do to limit what the stress in your life. Stress in your life? You, you know, most people will tell you life is pretty stressful. And new research shows if you don't figure out a way to handle that stress, you could be causing irreversible damage to your brain. Your spouse is yelling, your kids are crying. You're late to work and you're not even prepared for that meeting. You probably are dealing with a lot of stress. Take a minute, take a breath, find a way to stay calm and just take care of yourself. And everyone has their way of handling it. I handle it just by chilling, relaxing, watching TV. Go home and take a nice long hot bath. I'm a religious person, so yeah, I pray. Time with my son, family. Experts say dealing with those difficult situations is important. Perhaps more than ever after new research shows, stress can literally shrink your brain. That's very surprising. It's shocking. <laughs> Published in the Journal of Neurology, scientists studied brain MRIs and found higher levels of the stress hormone cortisol were linked to lower brain volume and impaired memory in younger to middle-aged adults, especially women. Brain chemistry, the, the, the chemicals in our brain affect us. What's really important is, is that this is a large study that's now looking at neurologically healthy individuals. Essentially, higher stress led to smaller brains in otherwise healthy people. So Dr. Desmond Oaths, an assistant professor of psychiatry at the University of Penn, says this should be a wake-up call for people in high-stress jobs. In terms of people who are otherwise healthy, there isn't a recommended uh, kind of practice. Engaging more with uh, family, friends, things like that could be uh, protective in, in those circumstances. It just needs an outlet. And unless you give it that outlet of, of that fun time, that relaxation time, that together time, then um, it just eats you up inside. The psychiatrist I spoke with says if you are dealing with a lot of stress in your life, it's important to recognize changes you may be experiencing. Loss of memory, for example. He says it's then even more important to get professional help or at the very minimum do something that relaxes you. He also suggests sleep. Hello. <laughs> sleep is very important for your brain health. What's that old saying? Take a chill pill. Don't sweat the dumb stuff. There you go. Oh, my man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate <laughs> sure. it.